Great Danny, sum up your emotions going into the game today. Um, I don't know, I generally don't get nervous before games, um, but well, it's a big game for everyone involved at the club, so nerves I do sort of try and keep in, but they can generally be a good thing, I think, sort of, when the game sort of kicks off, they tend to settle down, so hopefully hopefully the lads can settle into the rhythm and just generally go, go, go and have a good game, to be honest. What's been your favourite moment this season so far? Um, there's been a couple. Um, I think that the, the game against Chorley at the Reebok was a re real... A real good example of of how good we are as a team, and you know, on the right day, on the right pitch, you know, we're better than anybody in this league, and I think that's that's been proven by beating Chorley four one on a, on, a, on a good pitch, and you know, there's been there's been really really good games. I mean, Barbell away when we won, I think it was Barbell or Buxton away when we won four 0 on a really really tough pitch, just showed that we can we can play on bad pitches as well. Um, I think it's just a testament to the lads in the, in, in, the, in the in the in the team that we've got a real good good squad character and we can play in, in any in any conditions and get a result in any conditions. So, well, personally for me, the game against Charlie was a was a big was a big high. And lastly, Danny, is there anything you want to say to the fans? Um, just thanks for your support all season, and you know, hopefully we get the win for you today, and um, we can look forward to next season now. Hopefully. Yeah, Dave. It's been a great season so far. Two cup wins. What are your thoughts on today? Um, well, it's obviously a big game. Uh, the cup wins are fantastic, um, but uh, beginning of the season, our aim was was uh, promotion, and that's uh, you know that's still the situation. So, uh, just got to make sure we get over the line today, haven't we? Potentially, how big is this game? How big a step is it on the way to the goal? As we can see, the banner behind you for 2022. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's part of that journey. Um, it's. Um, all these lower leagues are difficult to get out of because uh, there's only one goes up and the rest, you know, it's a bit of a lottery as a playoff. FC United found that out on uh, Tuesday night. They were expected to win. Ashton went there and won. So, you know, it's uh, it, the playoffs are always a lottery. If you can win in the playoffs, it's the best way to go up. But uh, that's not always uh, not always possible. So. Uh, We'll see what happens today. It's a massive game, but I mean, if if, if we lose it, uh, you know, we'll regroup. Uh, we've got a great great side, uh, and uh, we'll have another go next season. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your role at the club? My name's Andy Pilkington. I'm development squad manager, which basically acts as a reserve team and also as a side to give the uh, younger members of the squad, so the under 18s, have opportunity to play a higher level, basically, um, with a main view to producing players that are capable of progressing into our first team squad. How's the season gone this year? It's gone very well. Um, we took the decision at the start of the year to base the side more on young young lads rather than older players to try and give us a, a platform to go forward. Um, so a lot of the squad this year has been under 18s, to be honest, that we've promoted up from the Fylde Youth and the Academy side. Uh, we started OK. We lost our, our first three games. Um, we realised we needed a few older lads involved, to be honest, to see see the younger ones through. And we've gone on since then and we've won, won more or less every game. We're undefeated since September and that finished off the season the other day, uh, winning the league. So, a really good season for us on the whole. Yeah, it's been your favourite moment? I think like a lot of people, I think Tuesday night will take some some beating. Uh, there's a lot of work goes on behind the scenes. It's great for it for it to all come together and hopefully um, all being well today, everyone will get what they deserve because the amount of work that people do behind the scenes, first team level all the way down to the volunteers that help deserve um, every success. And I can't have, you know, can't praise everybody enough for their efforts. So definitely Tuesday night to see the celebration and having it here as well at the ground. Hopefully we can go on better today and everyone will get the rewards. <laughs> Okay, guys, first off, tell us who you are. Right, let me call. Um, I'm Malcolm. This is uh, my kids, Max and Jess. Um, we've been supporting Fylde for two and a half years. Okay. It's been a remarkable season for Fylde. What's been your favourite moment so far? Um, Joe Mullins' goal. Hopefully today. Yeah. <laughs> but um, some of the highlights: Joe Mullins' goal against first goal, goal yeah, and the cup final against Charlie. Guys, who's your favourite players? Joe Mullin. <laughs> Adam Sumner. <laughs> good luck today good and good luck next season. Good luck next season. Okay, Chris, let us know what's your role at the club. Uh, well, I'm basically the media officer, so I do all the match reports, match programs, and the Twitter feed on match days. So my role is just letting people know how we're getting on during during the day and 
basically keeping everyone updated with all, all the club news. Excellent. It's been a great season so far. What's been your favourite moment? Uh, so far, it's got to be the 4 1 win over Charlie at the Reebok. Uh, I think we were just fantastic that day. Um, hopefully, today is going to be just as successful. Um, overall, it's been a very good season anyway. I think it's the highest finish we've ever had in the, in the pyramid third in at this level so it's it's been already been a successful season but if we can top it off today it'd be just be perfect. Excellent. <laughs> Lastly the players have done everyone proud. What have you got to say to them? I think they've just been they've been fantastic from day one basically. They're, they've stuck together as a team. Even through the bad patch in December they've they've come out and they've they've lost just once in twenty seven games since so it's just they've been incredible really. They've they all of them are great, great with the fans, the fans love them. And just obviously got to cap it off today now with another great performance. Excellent. <coughs> this season so far, Tuesday night, Tuesday night, getting this, getting this far. Yeah, that was that was a bit special that last on Tuesday night. Why exactly was it special? Because I can see the culmination of an awful lot of hard work by the players, the management, and the staff coming coming together. And now here we are today. Let's finish the job. Lastly, is there anything you want to say to the players and staff? You know what to do, lads. You know what to do. Come on, boys! Come on! Come on, Sam! Again, come on! 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 Substitution for the coasters, replacing number two, Dave Hankin. 
Please welcome number 12, Danny Lloyd.